Researchers at the UC San Diego School of Medicine have developed a tool they say can better predict when cancer will resist chemotherapy. They are using artificial intelligence that may be better determine how to treat a cancer patient. CBS 8's Abby Black reports on this new biotechnology discovered here in San Diego. Imagine a doctor asking their phone what kind of drug they should use to treat a cancer patient. Scientists here at UC San Diego's School of Medicine are using AI to better treat patients. Cancer is complicated and so is treating it, but researchers I spoke with today are pioneering a new approach to the deadly disease. We're asking, you know, dear AI, please bestow me with your wisdom on, on what this, uh, this tumor uh, uh, is, how I should treat it, what drugs it will respond to what drugs it won't respond to. Dr. Trey Eidecker and his team authored a study published in Cancer Discovery that uses artificial intelligence to predict the best treatment for cancer patients. Chemotherapy often doesn't work. So the question becomes, when can you safely or at least productively treat with chemo agents of various kinds? And when might you want to consider another another route. Eidecker says currently many doctors are using a one gene approach, but tumors can have dozens of mutations. You can't simply uh, as a human mind hold 90 genes or 150 genes in your head at one time. You're going to have to have an intelligent system help you do this. This AI has identified 90 genes and researchers are continuing to expand the data by feeding it examples of tumor cells and their mutations in the responses to different chemotherapies such as cisplatin. How do you learn to trust these systems? Right? This is, in a sense, a Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. Based on this patient's mutations, I believe she will respond to drug X, but not Y or Z. Uh, but I can't tell you why. That's not acceptable. Eidecker says the AI findings will also explain its reasoning and is confirmed by scientists and research lab. Now, it still needs further regulatory approval, but this could also lead to the development of new drugs and treatments. It's got to be able to have a conversation and defend itself under a panel. Of experts. This type of AI is applied in our daily lives, not only to help doctors better treat patients, but it also may save cancer patients from enduring painful chemo treatments that may not work and give them longer to live. And why can you better predict what movie she would like tonight on Netflix than what drug she should take? At UC San Diego, Abby Black, CBS 8.